Hey guys, welcome to the Data Tech channel. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Here we talk about the modern data technologies and do hands-on practice with them. Today we will be building our first streaming pipeline in Azure Synapse Analytics. So without further ado, let's start. There are some prerequisites for this video. First one is the basic understanding of uh, Spark structure streaming. If you don't, I'm going to put a link for Spark structure streaming in the description, you can check it there. And obviously, Azure Synapse Analytics. If you don't know much about it, please check out my video. Link will be in the description. Okay, before we start, let's uh, understand what is a streaming data pipeline. As we all aware that data pipeline is an automated process of moving data from one system to another, and in that data may or may not be transformed, and it could be both real-time or batch. Real-time is also known as streaming. And in simple words, we can say a continuous data flow from source to destination as it's created and making it useful along the way using data science or advanced analytics or machine learning is known as streaming data pipelines. And some of the very famous use cases are fraud detection, log analysis, online advertising, sentiment analysis on, tweet, on Twitter tweets, etc. Um, so in today's demo, we will be performing following activities. We will be building uh, a streaming pipe, like we will be using the built-in uh, source of the Spark, that is the file source. And the file system will be on Azure Data Lake Gen 2, which is we all know is a blob storage with Hadoop comp compatibility and some basic transformations like dropping some columns, renaming few, and finally writing the, uh, the output data frame in as a JSON file into the sync. And that sync will be a file sync in the uh, Azure Data Lake Gen 2. Before jumping into the Azure Synapse Analytics, I want you to have a quick look at the code. So let's go to the code. So it's a, it's a simple code, like nothing very complicated. So the first thing is we are importing the libraries which we, are, which we need for this program. And, uh, and after that, in the main, like, as usual, we initiating our Spark uh, session and defining the schema. Uh, so this is the file, like, uh, this is an, uh, uh, as I always like take open data source. So this is an open data source. I got it from Kegel and I'm going to put the, like, uh, the sample data files and this code on GitHub. So, and the link will be in the description, so don't worry about it. But uh, basically, like we, we as a best practice, we giving the schema to the our uh, our file, and here comes the from line number twenty two. Here we are reading the if you look from here to here, we are reading the stream of CSV files from an Azure Data Lake Gen two, and this is the location from where we reading, and we passing the schema like if we get line number twenty two. Oh, sorry 24 and in options we are saying header equal to true so like in our file the csv files have header and after that uh, as i mentioned like we just doing some uh like selecting only like few columns and then renaming uh, the column card to make and mileage to distance very simple stuff and after that we're writing this uh, stream of csv files into another location in the Azure Data Lake Gen 2. And if you have a bit understanding of structure streaming, here you can see we are using the append output mode, and uh, which is like the only mode available in the file sync system, and which makes sense too. Otherwise, like uh, whenever you are like, a, let's say, they're like, a, let me talk about like there are the two modes too, one is append, uh, like that in total there are three append complete and update uh, complete is like when you overwrite append is when you add something and update is like if you want to change something but in a file sync we are like literally writing the files so if uh, like 
complete or uh, update were available like that means like you have to delete the file and make the change which is like which makes uh, like a uh, things more complicated that's why like spark framework don't take don't care of that and that's why only append mode is available and after that uh, you can see we are uh, picking the format as JSON and then we passing the path like it's on our you can see it it's it's on our Azure data lake too and then uh, checkpoint location in case uh, if anything fails is because this is a streaming pipeline if anything fails we need to have a checkpoint from where we can roll back and the last line is basically um, is basically uh, we let this program run until a user <coughs> sorry until a user intervene so it will keep running until we don't want uh, until we don't interrupt and stop it okay now let now just have a quick look at the folders and from where I got the look perfect okay so if I expand this so this is a, if you understand the Azure Synapse Analytics you will understand like a uh, uh, Azure Synapse Analytics workspace come with a mounted uh, Azure Data Lake Gen 2 and there we have created two folders only like streaming and output streaming data where we inserting the data output data where it's uh, will be stored so in streaming data we are uploading the CSVs and out in output data you will find JSON files and checkpoint is created by that program and if you like this is the same uh, Workspace. If you look at data tech workspace, data tech workspace, I split it like I split it to just to show like how the streaming things work. Like when I upload in one, you will see the files in another one too. And here, like I'm already running the streaming ETL. Uh, let me show you that too. You can see that it's running, running. We'll go back to the user again, and. And if you need the folder location, you just select that and click on properties. Uh, and you pick this path, you just copy this. Okay, now let's, now our program is running. We understand what our program is doing. It's reading CSV files from streaming data folder and dropping some, like a V selecting only selected col few columns and then renaming two column card to mem make and mileage to distance so let's just upload one more file and see at the same time so I, I, okay before i do that I'll, i want to show you something if you look at the time what time i uploaded these files and the, it's pretty same like it's a uh, couple of seconds here and there but uh, pretty fast and it depend on your uh, on your uh, spark pool too like which one you pick but it, it's still it's relatively fast like we we don't see these kind of things in a batch processing world okay let's upload click on upload we already have three files let's go to the four click open perfect we have four files and here you will be like okay we are not seeing the fourth file that's if you click on refresh boom so if you look at this this is the fourth file and we uploaded it and this is pretty like at the same time like 1853 25 1853 25 so that's